Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we did it again. We crossed the streams. We took PETG and TPU. We brought them together in the GTEC A10M, and we got ugly. Um, I think as AV would say, this is fugly, because this is definitely some nasty printing. However, very interesting printing at that. So I'll do some overlays from the microscope, and you can really see in this how the the flow of the two it, it really doesn't mix it sort of co-extrudes um, the plastic because especially right in here you can really see um, the co-extrusion where you have both the blue the blue is the pet g and the black is the tpu uh, the mechanical properties of this are actually far different than that of the pla one remember the this is the pla and tpu one that we did this one is a little bit flexible and spongy. This one, not at all. Now, I did print this at about 250 degrees. The, um, uh, the PETG I was using um, recommended between 240 and 260. So I put it at 250, just the kind of middle of the rope. Now, one of the things I want to share that I'm discovering as I'm doing these, because obviously I've done several more as I'm talking about this one, uh, the combination of temperature in the hot end as you're doing diverse plastics it gets kind of interesting. Uh, so y even if you run it at the higher of one, it, it takes a lot of energy to heat the those two filaments together. Much more energy than takes to heat a single filament or a single type of filament. So one of the things I notice is, is I print the diverse material the temperature range on the uh, printer really vacillates uh, uh, downward as it's pushing the material. So it has a hard time really keeping up with, you know, heating the two streams of plastic coming in. I, I think really, uh, you know, if I were going to build a serious mixing printer, uh, I would actually have two heating elements to help it keep up because I think, again, uh, when you're pushing this, you know, two plastic streams, and even though one plastic stream is coming out, it's still having to, uh, you know, melt two 1.75 plastic streams flowing into the extruder, if you know what I mean. So, um, temperature does become an issue. So, I've noticed I've had to really ramp up the temperature probably 10 degrees higher than I normally would just to compensate for this fact. So, Anyways, uh, if you guys ever wanted to see what uh, would happen if uh, PETG and TPU got together, well, this is what we have, and it's not too pretty. kind of looks like Alien or something like that. So, anyways, hopefully you're finding these series on mixing different filaments interesting. Uh, and again, I'm just trying to kind of come up with, you know, what happens if you do it. And, um, you know, so far, you know, PLA is winning. Now, I actually thought this would turn out better, and as it was doing the base, I was kind of having a bet with myself that this would turn out better, uh, but not so good. Um, and I'll give you a hint, ABS is about the same. So anyways, tell you what, don't forget to subscribe over there, hit that bell, put out regular content. Uh, don't forget the swag shop up in the corner, and stay tuned. We're going to do more of this. Hey, Ghostbusters say crossing the stream's bad. Got to do it. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on more.